I am in WeVideo, and in this quick tutorial, I want to show you um, just a couple of sound editing tools that WeVideo has for us, um, one they've had for a long time, and one is brand new. It says it's in beta right now. It's a noise reduction tool, and it works really well. I'm psyched that it's here. It's going to help uh, me help students uh, quite a bit. Here's a video I already loaded into WeVideo, and I brought it in because there's a bit of a audible hiss during what should be silent moments in, in the video. I'll play a bit here so we can hear it. That confronting your own death can lead to a more fulfilling life. Or do you believe that? Yeah, I do believe that. I do believe that. Hopefully you can hear the same hiss I'm hearing as I'm recording the screencast, but that's what we want to reduce. Um, if I double click a video, uh, anything in my timeline, quite honestly, I'll get a whole bunch of editing options. It says edit clip up here. Right now we're just going to focus on the audio options. Um, this could reduce the, it, the volume um, or increase the volume. Um, but this is, this is the new beta, uh, reduce noise uh, feature. So I'm going to turn this on and uh, I'll click fade here so you can see what that does uh, in the editor and how we can manipulate that further. Uh, if I click fade, it defaults to one second. You can kind of choose a few options there. And again, you can change that in the editor. Click done. I'm going to go back and listen to what we just listened to with that uh, noise reduction on. Or do you believe that? Yeah, I do believe that. I do believe that. How has facing my own mortality really helped me to live a more fulfilling life? Well, Hopefully you can hear that uh, adjustment in audio. It's really for the better. We've almost eliminated that noise uh, during the what should be silent moments in this film. And her voice still sounds pretty good, um, even after that tool did its job. Uh, sometimes tools like that can make the audio you want to keep sound a bit too synthetic, but this sounds pretty good. I scroll back to the beginning. Um... um I'm going to uh, go over here, click these uh, three dots, say show audio level. And we get this blue line here. You can see how it's faded up. Well, it's faded up over one second because that's what we did uh, in the other uh, screen. Um, but I could make that longer. I just go click this and pull it, right? So I'm kind of guessing that's about two, right? Four. This would be over about six seconds. Um, it would fade in. And um, if I wanted to change the volume of this track during the course of uh, the video, I could just click this blue dot, start to create some other kind of markers and use those markers to uh, manipulate, you know, do I want it at zero? Do I want it like halfway? Um, this is really important um, yeah, on certain audio tracks. Uh, if kind of fading in and out or creating audio transitions, you'll use these markers quite a bit. Um, doesn't make sense for an interview like this to fade her out. To a more fulfilling. Or do you believe that? Yeah, I do believe. But hopefully you could see a little bit how that works. So that's uh, how to create markers and kind of in the audio track of a video and how to manipulate them to some degree and how to use the reduce noise feature, uh, both super important to your video.